Hi, I'm Alex with AM Equipment Sales, and today I'm going to show you how to set the prices on a Dixie Narco 270-60 e or a Dixie Narco 501E with the S2D control board. Set the prices is a very simple process. First, you're going to need to open the door on the machine, and you need to find the control board, which is on most machines, are going to be located in the upper left-hand side of the machine, or they can be located down here in the middle of the machine here. What we're looking for on these control boards is the blue mode button which I'm pointing to at this point. There's a little blue button right here. That is a mode button. All you do at this point, just press that one time, like so. And once you have it pressed on the front display, it's going to read HD. To cycle the menu, we're just going to press selection buttons one and two together at the same time. Do that, I'm just going to press and hold. And what we're looking for is S-P, which is short for set price. I'm going to press and hold selection button. And there we are, S-P, set price. Now to set the prices, we're just going to go to each individual selection and set the prices. For this example, let's go ahead and set selection number one for 50 cents. So I press and hold it currently. It's going to show me the current price of $1.25. If I press and hold it and continue to hold it, the price will go up in five cent increments. If I let go and press and hold again, it will decrease in five cent increments. So I'll continue down until the price gets to 75 cents. And if you wait too long, it is going to start to jump and the price change will happen faster. And whenever you get to the price that you want, you'll let go of the button. I'll press again to double check, 75 cents. Oops, I went to 80 cents. Press and hold again. There's 85. Let go. Press and hold. Down to 75. You would continue to do the same process all the way through. You don't have to go into sequential order. You can go to the very last selection button, press that button, $1.25. And I can then go ahead and bring this up to $1.50. It's going down. Press and hold up to come back up. Now let's keep going. I'll wait till we get to $1.50. And there's $1.50. Now, if your machine, you're going to sell everything for the same price, there is a shortcut. Instead of going through each nine or seven selections on your machine, you can set the price of selection button number one by pressing and holding the button. So let's go ahead and make this a dollar. So I have selection button one at a dollar. I can copy this price to all the selections by pressing and holding selection buttons three and four for 15 seconds. Now you remember when I set this price down here, I set that for $1.50. We go back up here, price one is set for a dollar. If I press and hold selection buttons three and four for 15 seconds, we go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015. Now, if I let go, when I go to my last selection and check the price, you'll see that it is now a dollar. All my selections are now set for a dollar. I copy the price from selection button one and apply it to all the selections in a row. Once you're done setting all your prices, you're going to want to come back inside the machine and pull the white interlock switch here to put the machine back into sales mode. At that point, you can go ahead and close the door and tighten it down. If you have all your prices set for a single price, that price will come up in the display. If you have different prices on your machine, all you will get is a decimal point on the display. And that's how you set the prices on a Dixon Arca 276E or 501E drink vending machine. And thank you for watching.